Vum. Vum. Hey everyone, Mike here from Mikey Reviews. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the Wheelite K21. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it, Wheelite, or it might be Waylite. I'm going to go with the Wheelite, it's got double E. Anyway, basically what this is, it's an RGB light stick. And the retail price on this is around £60 in the States. It's about $70. Quite reasonably priced actually, um, considering there are a lot of lighting products on the market at the moment. Um, so yeah, 60 pounds is actually quite good, especially with the amount of features that it packs in this little product. The box doesn't actually state all the features. Uh, so normally I'd be showing you around the box, listing all the different features. Instead, I've got a list on uh, my computer. So the uh, the main features that it has is a zero to 360 degrees full color. That doesn't mean that you know, you've know you got the, the lighting around the whole thing. Basically, the color range is the whole color wheel hue there. And you can also adjust the saturation. So the amount of different colors that you can achieve with this light stick is quite impressive. As for color temperature, it's between 2500 Kelvin and 8500 Kelvin. It also has 29 scene modes, so those who have little video projects or, you know, for videography reasons, uh, you, can, you can use these different lighting effects if it suits what you're shooting. It has a few different ways of mounting, so well, obviously you can hold it if you really want to. You can stick it to a tripod or a mini tripod, because it's got a little tripod thread, it's a quarter of an inch thread. And it also has a magnetic back as well, so stick it on a fridge or some other metal bars or whatever. Yeah, quite a lot of uh, mounting options there, which is really cool. And finally, you can actually control it through your smartphone or smart device by the uh, Wheelite app. And uh, you can control one or multiple different light sticks, so very useful feature. Anyway, let's get to the unboxing. It's not the, the most uh, exciting unboxing. I don't think there's much in it. The reason why is that little light behind me is another K21 light stick. So I've actually already tested one uh, myself. So I'm not blindly going in and not knowing what I'm talking about. So we've got that there, that and yeah, that's a bit of a, a botched job of, of the unboxing then. Oh, right. So the first two little things that you'll find is a warranty card, as you can see there, and a little instruction manual in various different languages. It also has a QR code so that you can actually find the app that you need to uh, control the light. The next thing you have is a USB to USB-C charging cable. Quite short, but cheapest chips these days. You can get an, uh, an extra long one for a couple of quid. And finally, we have the light stick. All wrapped up there. So a little rundown on the uh, the exterior. So I'll see on the front, you've got the, the little light. That covers 180 degrees of the surface. On the back you have two magnets in here, so you can stick that on things. Not sure. There we are. <laughs> That's a good little example there. Over here we have the power button, followed by the micro USB-C charging port. We have the plus and minus adjustment buttons set which will toggle through the different modes and the shift button which will toggle through the different settings within that mode and of course a little lcd screen there so to turn it on just press and hold the power button for about a second the lcd screen will uh, turn on and then the light if the light doesn't power on it's either got no battery or the brightness is set to zero percent the first mode here, we have color temperature. So you have the brightness adjustment, color temperature, and we have a magenta and green tint adjustment. So I'm just gonna start on 100% brightness, and I'm gonna go all the way down. Now you can press it to go down by a percentage each time, or you can hold it and it will go down 
very quickly, as you can see there. The difference in brightness is certainly more noticeable in person than it is through the camera. Um, just gonna then press the shift button. That's gonna go down to the color temperature. And I'm gonna go down to 2500 Kelvin, which is gonna be nice and warm. I'm gonna put my face a bit closer so you can see as well. There we are. So yeah, nice and warm. And then up to 8500, which is a nice cool temperature. And we're at 8500 can see there back down to 5500 and on the next one we have the tint so this one here is a slight green tint to it and then if I go all the way up a bit of a magenta that's a really cool setting because not a lot of lights have that um, tint adjustment um, in the color temperature range then if I press setting we'll go to the HSL mode so that is hue saturation and lighting you can adjust the brightness, the hue. So I'm gonna just go through all the different colors you can see there. And I might as well keep going. And then we have the saturation. Go all the way down and up. The next mode is almost like a custom so you can manually go through the uh, red green blue white and yellow channels so obviously if i adjust that you can see that i've only got a bit of blue selected so that's why it's displaying as blue and then the next mode is all the scene mode so at the moment uh you know i don't even know what this one is it's very vague, the little icons, but when I load up the app, I'll be able to read them all through. Uh, but you can, once again, adjust the brightness. You can adjust the speed of the animation. So normal, fast. Back to slow. Go down to the scene. Can adjust through that, so that is fire. Put that too fast, so it's a bit more of a flickery. You might just be able to see it. Anyway, uh, let's get onto the app. So, you will need to download the WeLight app. And it looks, if you can see, there we are, just like that. And I almost forgot to mention actually, if you hold the set button, you can assign the channel number and group that the light is in. So if you've got multiple lights and you want to control them all at the same time, make sure that they're on the same channel and group. And if you want to adjust them separately, so let's just say I want that one blue and that one red, you can just make sure that they're in two separate groups. And that way it's nice and easy. So that is all set up. Right, so on the app, I've selected A, and then that means I can adjust the color temperature. You can also see the one behind me is also adjusting at the exact same time. I can go to HSL. Green, blue, see that? All at the same time, which is pretty epic. And same with uh, the scene. So the different scenes that we have, we have flash, firework, burst, blink, flame, filming, TV, weld, curve one, curve two, curve three, curve four, uh, CTC, which goes through the different color temperatures. It's almost like a cycle through the different um, color temperatures. Alarm, which is basically emergency. We have movie, Rainbow, rainbow. Uh, I think it slowly goes through all the different colors. Uh, we've got a bar, which is like, I guess neon lights. I wonder if that makes this glow. Oh, flipping it, yeah. Makes that glow a bit, that's cool. Birthday, fairy tale, grassland, surf, aurora. And then we have the separate colors, red, orange, yellow, green, cyan blue, blue and purple voila and just a quick example of uh, doing them separately so if I hold this uh, setting group group B hold setting exit right so now 
when I adjust. So to blue, that's gone to blue, but this hasn't. Then I go to B, and then I can adjust this. So I've got two different colors. You can see that. Really, really good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and that's pretty much all to it. So I'm just gonna switch that back to group A. And there we are. So as you've seen, it's really simple to navigate through the different settings and adjust them. Uh, obviously it's much easier on the app, but even so, if you decide to navigate through the, the light stick itself, it doesn't take much effort to get exactly what you want. It really is super neat. Uh, and the fact that it's so portable as well, there's a lot of versatility with it. A lot of different applications that you can use, be it photography for just normal or more creative shots uh, heck you can light paint with it if you really want to or for videography just yeah possibilities are endless obviously there's a limit because this is this is not going to be as bright as uh, something like a big led panel but still enough to produce a good amount of light i'll put a quick uh, example photo of uh, some product photography just using two of these lights uh, but I'm sure you'll agree that, yeah, a pretty solid product. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you on my next one.